Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arm of the Stock Switch, just reviewing the market here into the last half an hour of the day. We look lower. I mean, I've been thinking that we're lower. I said this morning we were lower. I know this didn't, like, fall off a cliff today in the sense like this day here, but, I, I mean, we're falling. I guess that's the point. We gapped down today. We fell hard. Then we pushed back. Now we're falling again like we are lower. But, again, if you're in shorts today, well, first of all, every any day trade, you got to be flat by four. So that's that. Um, and as far as the market goes, or any of the market puts that I call today, I mean, again, you can take some profits out if you want to protect yourself and be safe because this market's very volatile. If you've got the stomach to hold things for one more day of a drop, um, then, then we look lower. But I mean, to say what's going to happen between now and tomorrow morning at the open is so difficult because of the fact that things have been changing on a dime. Um, and I said this in the room uh, this morning. If even one person dies of the coronavirus that's in the United States, this market is going to tank. I hope to God that doesn't happen. I hope everyone gets help and gets well that has it. Um, but I'm telling you right now that if something horrible like that happens, of the 60 people that have been diagnosed so far, um, then, I mean, we're going to tank. We're, we're just, no one's buying here. I mean, I guess that's the point. No one, no one, no one is buying. But you, I, I'm never going to fault people for getting out with profits. And and uh, I know everyone wants a certain risk to reward and a certain percentage of the return on investment, and I get it. But the market's volatile. And so if you don't have the stomach to hone things, then you've got to take some out. It doesn't mean you take the whole position out. You can take some out. Or if I call 10 trades, get out of five, hold five. I'm talking about the ones that are moving, not the ones that aren't that aren't moving. Um And, and, you know, and the big ones I'm watching, Apple, I think, has more traction in it that didn't fall as much today as it could have. Boeing is just a lot lower to me. Um, so you, you really got to decide. You got a half an hour. You got a half an hour to look at this and decide. But right now, I don't think we're going to change the way we close. This looks like we're probably going to close around here a little bit lower. We're not going to close green today in the market. The market just is lower at least here between now and four. So you got a half an hour to decide what you're doing with the positions. And I do think you need to think about this and don't make any rash decisions here, but try to think things through. Because, you know, to say what's gonna happen exactly tomorrow, where we're gonna open, to be honest with you, nobody knows. But I do know that there's a possibility we could open lower again tomorrow. And if we do, we're probably gonna sell off again, unless we're down huge tomorrow in the open, in which case then you get out of everything then into the open. All right, good luck everyone. Be thoughtful about your trades. It's very important to make money.